Hey y'all, this is Stephanie. Welcome to Large Family Diabetic Cooking. And I did it again. I have three, well, two new subscribers. And um, I forgot the one. Alexander! Alexander! Go get my phone in my room, please. I'll give it to you. <laughs> but um, in the meantime, while he's grabbing that for me, uh, today we are going to be making some Buckeyes. Um, it's very big here in Pennsylvania. Um, it's been here for, uh, for as long as I can remember. Alexander, did you go get my phone? So... He's peeping around the corner trying to see because <laughs> he really wants to be in the camera and he wants to help, but he's got a slight cold, so and I will not let him help right now. Um, somebody spilled something on my wall here. So, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Um. Let me pull up my new subscribers. I gotta pull up YouTube in order to do it though. So, let me get here. Um, one of my subscribers is Tiffany Marshall Grubbs. Welcome Tiffany, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining our little family here. And I told you Lola Granola the other day, the Chicken Doula. I think that's an awesome name. And then the other subscriber is 111409 Abel. So, to all the subscribers, welcome. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining our little family. And let's get started. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be making Buckeyes. Buckeyes is a big staple here in Pennsylvania. Um, it is, um, I don't know how long it's been around, but it, it's very big here in Pennsylvania. Um, I don't know if it's, if it's the state candy or not. I, I don't remember. I would have to look it up. And, um, so we'll do that. Now I have... Twelve tablespoons of um, yeah, four. Okay, twelve tablespoons of butter, room temperature butter in here. Now I need to do four cups of powdered sugar and two cups of creamy peanut butter, and we're going to mix that up, and then we're going to roll them into little balls. And then after we get them rolled into balls, then we're going to melt our chocolate, and I'll show you what to do after that. So let's get our peanut butter together. So um, I'm going to do two cups of peanut butter. Um, the recipe is three tablespoons of salted butter, softened, not unsalted, salted butter. Um, a half a cup of creamy peanut butter. Oh, jeez. Uh, we use Jif. Um, don't use Skippy um, or Peter Pan because it's too sweet of a peanut butter. And you don't want it to overpower. But um, I ran out of swerve, so I had to use my Splenda. So I will look at the conversion chart because I made powdered sugar. So whatever the conversion chart is is what I will use for for this. And I will check it to make sure that... Um, that it sets up right. So we're going to do our two cups of peanut butter. Uh, no, let's do the powdered sugar first. And then I'll use, all right, one cup of powdered sugar is a half a cup. So, so that is One cup is a half a cup. 
and I'm doing four cups. So half a cup and a half a cup. Okay, so instead of four cups, it would be two. Okay. I want to get it right. I don't want to mess it up. So let's get our two cups of powdered sugar in here. sugar earlier before I got on here to start this because I wanted to have it done and out of the way. Okay. Now we're going to do two cups of peanut butter. Creamy peanut butter. Um, for dinner today, we had, uh, if you remember, we made, um, a while ago, actually, we made uh, pigs in a blanket or, you know, stuffed cabbage. So we made that, um, and I made uh, a uh, chicken pot pie, uh, and we used uh, Paula Deen's. Um, perfect pie crust for the top. We still have a half a container of the pot pie, but all of the pigs in a blanket, gone. <laughs> it went, and it went fast. With the kids and everything, with the kids and, and Michael, it was gone. I think we're good. All right. So that's the other cup. Because it's a half a cup per three tablespoons of butter. Room temperature butter. Now, there's everything in there. So now I'm going to mix this on low. I do not want covered in powdered sugar. <laughs>
exactly what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to add powdered sugar because it's not enough. And I have a little fourth of a cup here, so we'll do this one fourth of a cup at a time. three cups now. Maybe I should have left it at four. It's getting there. Another fourth of a cup. to be. Alright, so now let me show you that's what it looks like. So now let me get all these in the sink and then I need to get a cookie scoop and then we're going to start to scoop these out. I gotta wipe off the I don't like leaving a mess. It's just a pet peeve of mine and I just don't like a mess. I like to come in the mornings. Uh, just tell me if you're the way I am. I love coming into a clean kitchen. And not having to worry about washing dishes or cleaning up after someone else who is capable of cleaning up behind themselves, but don't. Sometimes you just have to know when uh, to choose your bags. You know what I mean? So, I think that should be big enough. Alright, 
right, so now we're going to get ready and roll. So let me turn you guys a little bit this way so you can see what I'm getting ready to do here. That is about a tablespoon. So we're going to get these rolled out. And then I'm going to put them in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. Clean up my mess. And then we'll pull them out and get ready to get them all iced up. Or not iced up, but uh, get our chocolate on them. I don't know how many of these are gonna make. find out here in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these rolled up. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. I'm going to pause you all and bring you back when I'm finished. Let me wash up my hands. Bring you all back in a few. See you in a bit. Okay, hey y'all. Welcome back to Large Family Diabetic Cooking. Now, I took some chocolate baker's, um, what is it? Uh, almond bark, and I melted that. I forgot about the first batch and burned it, so now the house smells like burnt chocolate. Mm. So, <laughs> it's a little stinky in here. <laughs> but, um, the next one I watched because I was filling my sink up with some soapy water and forgot about it. So, and then there's that. So now I have a toothpick here. And we're going to take hmm. and they say to use a toothpick, but I don't think that's going to work. So, but let's try it and see what happens. No, that's not going to work because it's putting a big hole in the, in the, um, so what we're going to do. Is we're going to take one. And then we'll just use the toothpick and slide it off. Let's see if that works. Mm, that's not working either. So we're going to have to use 
I'm going to use, I'm going to have to do what I did before. I'm going to have to use a fork because toothpick isn't working. So I'm going to grab two forks. We tried the toothpick and it put a big hole in the one, as you can see, and it cracked it. We don't want it to do that. So now we're going to Not as pretty as I would like it, but the toothpick did not work for me. But maybe what I should have done was um, I should have. Um, Maybe I should have uh, refrigerated the peanut butter balls and then maybe it would have worked. But um, I need to make another batch of these. So the second batch I'm going to refrigerate and then I will let you know if it works better with refrigerating the dough. The um, it's not really a dough, it's just peanut butter. But um, I'll, I'll let you know if that works better. So, um, but this is how you make Buckeyes. How come when other people make stuff, it comes out looking so purdy? And then when you do it, Enough said. <laughs> Just enough said. Okay, that's the way they're starting to turn out. So uh, I'm going to finish the rest of these up. Uh, thank you all for joining me. We made Buckeyes today. I need to do another batch, and then I will see you all tomorrow, and we're going to make um, uh, no-bake uh, cookies. The last time I made it, they did not set up because I did not let it cook long enough. So... Tomorrow, we're going to see how they turn out. So, I will see you later.